Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for being uh, willing and able and happy to share your success story <laughs> around your tiny wellness habit that you put into place since we last saw each other. Are you happy to introduce yourself and share what that is? Yes, certainly. Hi, good morning. Lovely to see you. Um, my name's Chris Everard. Uh, my primary role at the moment is being a Vistage chair. I've been a Vistage chair for five years. I run three groups. And part of being a Vistage chair is going on retreat uh, with your group. And a retreat is a couple of nights, overnight stay uh, in somewhere different. And part of the retreat probably the greatest part is the ability to work with speakers on on a, on a on a longer basis on a wider basis so a speaker session of this is normally is three hours whereas a tr retreat speaker can be with you all day and really drive a difference so we were absolutely blessed and honored to have uh Celine be our speaker this year we went for a walk in the morning and there she was sitting on the wall waiting for us to come back because we got a little bit lost and then she shared with us showed us explained to us well-being little changes drink more water have at least five colors on your plate eat moderately um, eat a balance take exercise be kind to yourself be good in your relationships, make all the fundamentals and principles in your life align uh, and look after yourself. And then we did the very opposite. We went for the retreat dinner, ate beige food and drank far too much wine. We but we did have some champagne. You. <laughs> Pardon? We had champagne, champagne, thanks to you. Champagne, yes. Yeah, so we finished off the speaker session with uh, two large bottles of rosé champagne as selected by Celine. So great time. And then in the morning, um, was it after breakfast or before breakfast? I think it was, was it before breakfast. Before breakfast, wasn't it? We went outside and we did, under the guidance and tutelage of Celine, the five Tibetans. Now, I'd never heard of the five Tibetans. None of my group. And there was 12 of us, I think, wasn't there? Yeah, 12 of us. Uh, none of, the, of, of my group had heard of the five Tibetans. And they are basically a, a, a series of five simple, easy to do, yeah, low, low demand stretches. And there's a sequence and there's lots of stuff on YouTube about this, so you don't have to memorize it. If you have a little forgetful moment, you can go on YouTube and, and see some real experts do them. So you start off doing maybe five of each stretch uh, very easily, very gently. And then as your body grows accustomed to doing the stretches, uh, I do mine every morning. So um, I do something called my gratitude so the first thing I do in the morning when I get up I make myself a cup of coffee have a glass of water and then if it's a nice day I'll stand outside but if it's not I'll stand inside and I'll just think about what I'm grateful for and who I'm grateful to and what I'm looking forward to most in the day and uh, sort of get myself framed for the day that takes anything between I don't know three and maybe sometimes ten minutes but that's unlikely and then I do my five Tibetans but in fact I do four because the first one makes me feel a little bit it, it's a spinning one and um, I have either got very sensitive ears or I'm spinning too fast or my center of gravity is wrong anyway it makes me feel giddy and slightly nauseous so I've, I've, I've stopped the first one so I, I do my uh, four Tibetans first thing in the morning takes uh, between eight minutes up to maybe 12 at most 15 minutes uh, and, it, and that time frame is dependent on how long I rest in between each session because I'll do, I'll do a series of stretches and then something may pop into my mind and I sort of stand up and think about that then I do my next one so the, depend, the time is set by me and at the end I have a shower and then make a cup of tea for my beautiful wife and then my day's kicked off and the difference it's made, the retreat was in September this year, 2019. Up until that point, for a number of years, like a lot of people, I, I had 
a sore back caused by largely caused by too much rugby and poor posture yeah. and maybe slight yes not maybe definitely a little bit overweight all the usual things yeah but doing the tibetans i can honestly say my back has not played me at all M maybe i've just come back from india on a motorcycling trip and sitting on a bike on bumpy roads for seven or eight hours yeah that reminded me that i'd still had my back wasn't perfect but apart from that it has transformed uh, my core is definitely stronger i feel much more purposeful after i've done my my four tibetans i feel relaxed i feel quite grounded um i never take myself too seriously so i do giggle at myself as i'm huffing and puffing and stretching and bending but each time you do them it gets that a little bit easier and you can do a little bit more and it just set, sets you for the day so my back's yeah, hasn't hasn't been as good as this for a long, long time. And also last year, June 18, my knees were hurting and I went to see a knee specialist as you do. And he said, your right knee is bone on bone. It's going to need a partial, if not a full replacement within the next couple of years. Your left knee is not too bad. Um, and I don't know how, whether it's psychosomatic or actual, but my knees along with my back are no longer hurting me. I can walk a lot further. Um, they were occasionally keep me awake at night, but they don't do that anymore at all. And quite frequently, I forget, I forget I've got sore knees. They, they occasionally remind me, as they do. But yeah, it's been, I mean, the well-being side of it, the presentation was really, well, it was informal, highly informative. It was challenging and engaging. And I know working with the group, um, there was 12 there. I I don't want to speak for anybody else but i'm pretty safe in saying i would say seven or eight are doing their tibetans i know a young guy called ben is now um a very strong advocate and getting his uh, friends and family into it when we meet um we are much more mindful of what we eat there's always water on the table there's always fruit on the table and it's often well no it is referred to as the greatest retreat, the best retreat, the most meaningful retreat that the group's ever been. And they've been together, I think the longest members, five years. Yeah, it would be, I'm five year chair. So uh, yeah, started with my, one of my founder members, Mark, and he refers to it as the best retreat. Wow, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Is that right? I couldn't have scripted this better. Thank you. Well, it's only the truth. It's only the truth. Yeah, I mean, I. I knew when I saw you and I asked when you were going for your knee procedure and I, and you said, Oh no, I've, I've canceled it because yeah, the structure fine. seems to be working. And mm -hmm. that was enough for me to feel like I wanted to get your message out there. But mm -hmm. I love that you've shared that the, the stretches make you feel purposeful. Yeah, they do. They, they, that's they, powerful. So yeah, one of the things, <laughs> this is, uh, you can use this or not. So my dad died. Um, it'll be a year on the 22nd of December, so just about a year. And I was with him quite a lot before he died. And his kind of mantra to me, and I'm, I'm one of four, but I don't know whether he said this to the other children as well, my siblings, he said, the most important thing is do the right thing. Just do the right thing. And only you know what the right thing is. Yeah. When you're not sure about something, just ask yourself, what's the right thing? So doing my four Tibetans, uh, I think of my dad, and I think this is the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, so this is, that sets me off with a, with at least one thing today. I've done the right thing, and the second right thing is making my beautiful wife a cup of tea. So if I can get <laughs> two right things done before I've even started work, that that's all right. It just gives me, uh, yeah, Why not? I suppose a sense sense of yeah pride as well. Actually, making. Yeah it's only a tiny thing it's 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes if that a day it's nothing really but it makes such a difference yeah and i talk about it i talk about it quite a lot because people have said to me chris you've lost weight you've you're looking better and fitter i said yeah it's my tibetans yeah that's the key. <laughs> to, to start that, something small and to be consistent rather than erratic and that's what yeah, you're doing. Every day, and every you're day. all these ripple effects so 
what an amazing story. Thank you for sharing. It's an absolute pleasure. No, thank you. Thank you for introducing many, me to, to Tibetans. <laughs>